In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of this Apple ADC, Apple Display Connector, to DVI adapter. Now, this isn't the standard Apple branded DVI to ADC adapter. This particular adapter was actually released before that one was. Um, I looked it up, I think this was released in 2001. Um, right after the ADC standard had been released. Um, and it actually works exactly the same as the Apple ADC to DVI adapter, but it is actually slightly different. And I'll, I will show you uh, exactly how this works in a little bit. But um, basically, uh, the this device is known as a DrBot DVI aider. Now, I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that. It's spelled D-V-I-A-T-O-R. I guess that's how it would be pronounced. But, um, yeah, like I said, this was released in 2001. And I think the reason they released this device was just so people who had Apple uh, ADC monitors, like this one right here, uh, you can see it is indeed an ADC uh, monitor. Uh, I think they released this device so people who had one could use it on uh, older Macs that didn't support ADC. At least that's what I read as the original intention for this product. But obviously since it's just a standard uh, DVI connection right there, we can use this on any computer. So in this video I'm going to be demonstrating it on a, an Apple Mac Mini you can see I have right there. So um, let me just show you uh, sort of how this works. So basically you plug in your DVI to ADC adapter right here or you plug in your D ADC monitor to the adapter right here. Um, you plug this in to the desired machine. Uh, you also plug this into the desired machine. This will uh, allow the USB ports on the back of the monitor function. And then we also have a third connection here for power. Now for any of you who have owned a Power Mac G4 Cube, you will no doubt recognize this power connection. Yes, this is the same power connection that the Power Mac G4 Cube uses, and because of that, this adapter actually from the factory shipped with a Power Mac G4 Cube power adapter. You can see this is the official one right here, the 205 watt uh, Power Mac G4 Cube power supply. And I actually got uh, both of these uh, devices off eBay. I got the uh, ADC to DVI adapter with the G4 Cube power supply off eBay. Uh, for $24 total. So uh, that was uh, quite a good deal. Um, even these G4Q power supplies uh, tend to go for quite a bit more uh, than I paid for both of these. And I also do have a PowerMag G4Q, so uh, it definitely doesn't hurt to have an extra power supply for it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is get this adapter hooked up to this Mac Mini and uh, demonstrate it working. So. I'm going to go ahead and get it hooked up real fast and uh, resume the video and show you that it works. So I'll be right back. Alright, so as you can see I've gotten the adapter completely hooked up. So you can see we've got the monitor plugged in there. We've got DVI and USB plugged in there. And we've got the power connection uh, hooked up to the G4 Cube power supply. So let me go ahead and switch around to the front of the display. And we'll go ahead and power on the machine. So first thing to do is turn on the monitor. And interesting thing I noticed, uh, once you actually turn it on, you can't actually turn it off. So once, yeah, it's kind of weird, I guess, because when you turn this on, it's designed to turn the machine on. But I think what it actually does is just turn on the, the power supply and that's all. So um, now that the monitor's on, let me go ahead and power up the machine. You can see that the instant the machine chimes, the display comes on, and it will start to boot up. So once the machine boots up, I will go ahead and resume the video. Alright, so as you can see, the machine has just booted up, and it is working perfectly on this monitor. So let me go ahead into About This Mac real quick, and we'll show you a System Profiler. So we'll go over to displays here. You can see that it detects it properly as the Apple Studio Display 17 inch ADC. Um, and uh, the system is actually able to fully interact and configure this monitor, like the brightness and whatnot. So if I click this button right here, the uh, 
little brightness looking indicator, go ahead and tap on it, you can see that it automatically opens the displays preferences of system preferences. And you can actually change the brightness of the display, as you can see that works perfectly fine. Um, you can set the, uh, the properties of the display, so you can disable the power button, and you can disable the display preferences button. Um, and then of course we can also uh, change the color. So, as you can see, uh, this adapter works really well and it allows, it works exactly like if you would have connected this monitor to the machine over ADC. So, that is an overview of the Dr. Bot DVI Aider ADC to DVI adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here. So that is this ADC to DVI adapter. Hope you enjoyed this video.